Welcome back guys. Just got back from a test drive on a 1956 Bel Air. This one here's got a 350 under the hood. Lots of upgrades. Aluminum radiator, electric fan, exhaust, dual carbs. Lots of extra chrome. We're gonna be walking around this car, pointing out any kind of flaws so you know exactly what you're buying when you get here. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. I post videos of uh, muscle cars pretty much daily. Every Monday we add new cars to the site. So jump over to maplemotors.com. You can get financing, shipping, wheels, tires, parts, and accessories. All right, guys, we're gonna get started here. Any flaws that I see, I will let you know. So on this car, I noticed the paint is weak. We'll start up here in the front. I'm also gonna give you some undercarriage shots after this video. Be towards the end here. But look at the top, look at the paint. It's got chips and cracks all in it. So I tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna be looking for any kind of rust, dents. The chips and cracks are pretty much everywhere. So I'm gonna be running down the body here looking for any kind of dents or rust. We'll go slow pretty much on everything. It's like a little bubble in the paint there. Lots of chips and scratches. It's cracking the paint. Coming around the back here, you see what I mean? It's pretty much like that all the way around the car. On these is pretty cool. This is where the gas cap is. This one's got an electric fuel pump in it as well. It's trying to spit rain on us. Luckily, I got the test drive done before that came in. So far, pretty solid, just old paint. Go ahead and check the trunk out here. So coming up on the back, the back bumper's in great shape. The tail lights look pretty good. You can see all the way up into the cab here. They took the back seat out. It's like we got some moisture gathering up right there in that spot, but the rest of the trunk's in pretty good shape. Water's coming down right there from the back window. Package tray. There we go. Looks pretty good. There we go. Weather stripping around this. Actually, still soft. Guys, it's snowing. Huh. We don't get much snow here in Tennessee. I oh, made a mess in there. Shuts pretty good, lines up well. Paint is just gone on this car. All right, coming down this side, we're gonna go down the lower portion, come back to midsection, hit the top. Mainly looking for rust or dents. Lots of cracking in the paint. Big chips in the doors there. So 
some big chips there as well. That's a big chunks missing on the door. Same thing's going on over here as it is on the other side. Looking up on the roof here. It's probably getting wet now. It's trying to beat the rain, guys. But you get the gist. A lot of little cracks in the paint. Nothing major up there. Back window's in good shape. all right made it around this car we're going to be doing some undercarriage shots here in a moment let's check this interior out and get it started up door panel the armrest is uh looking a little ragged there the rest of it looks pretty good weather stripping doesn't look bad checking the underside of the door it's solid Jams, same thing. Carpet looks good. The seat, it's got a little wear on the edge here and down here. They got a big cover for the whole back. Back seat has been taken out. For now, we got a battery back here and uh, pretty empty. Big shell. Go ahead and place your bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? This is a four-speed car. It's geared very low. Check it out in the test drive. This was the first time I've driven this car. Uh, got in it and took off pretty fast and realized real quick, this is a very low-geared car. Go ahead and place your bets. You think that horn works? We'll be trying it out here in a moment. Let's go ahead and start her up. So first off, fuel pump. You also have electric fans does start up nice and easy when it's warmed up when it's cold you know you gotta pump the gas wait for it to warm up obviously with the old carbureted car checking around in here blower motor does not work radio does not work we got those two gauges down there they seem to be pretty accurate and the gas gauge was working Showing 98,000 miles. Got a Hurst shifter down on the floor. The dash has got the same cracking as everything else on the car, on the paint. We'll go ahead and turn the lights on and kind of check that out. Put the left turn signal on as well. See it's popping up on the dash there. Start signals working, running lights are working. Headlights are not on. Let me mess with that switch a little bit, see if we can get them to work. Turn signal is coming on. Sometimes it's in the dimmer switch in the floor try that they're still not on let me hit that dimmer switch one more time the other air cleaner on the ground so to open the hood you got to take the back air cleaner off the way they cut it electric fans working turn signals on I'm gonna hit that dimmer switch again it's 
see. So the headlights are gonna need some work. Could be in that dimmer switch. Most of the time, that's what it is. They are wired up. Only reason the chain's on here is because we lock it down so people don't knock that air cleaner off. We'll see what it looks like when we shut it down. I'll show you why. See how that fits around there? Once you set the air cleaner on, you can't open the hood without taking it off. I'm actually gonna go ahead and set it back down on there because it's snowing. <laughs> Usually have two hands to do this, but. There it goes, it's seated down on there now. All right, I'm gonna give you some undercarriage shots now. Let's see what this car looks like underneath. I do have detailed photos at maplemotors.com. appreciate y'all watching go on over to maplemotors.com check out financing shipping information all of our inventory wheels tires parts and accessories are available and i'll see y'all in the next video there's definitely a test drive out so be sure to watch for this one i could put it at the last 30 seconds of this video that way you can easily access it it also helps us out greatly when you share these videos so please do so and i'll go ahead and thank you in advance i'll see y'all later guys